Hi everyone, how you doing? It's Nick here from Art Property um, and today I'm going to try and give you some tips uh, on buying at auctions. So I'm in Copeland Road here in Ibrox. As you can see here, it's a very busy Copeland Road. Uh, loads of Rangers fans turned out for the signing of uh, the new manager, which is Stephen Gerrard. So uh, it's really busy around here, so I'm going to dodge traffic and get over and give you a look at a property that took my eye uh, as I was looking through right move. It's on at a guy price of £8,000 and I thought this is too good to be true so I thought I'd come down and have a closer look. Um, now, it's on with Auction House Scotland. Auction House Scotland are a great company to deal with. Uh, anytime you phone up for information they're always really good and honest uh, and I would really recommend them as an auction company. Uh, but I just thought at this price, I thought this is too good to be true, so I thought I'd come down and check it out. And in the process of checking it out, I thought I'd do a wee Facebook Live video and share some tips on buying at auction. So I'll just show you exactly where I am. In the Copeland Road, top floor flat, uh, that's the one that's in the auction. So firstly, I'm going to give you just a couple of tips uh, on how to do your due diligence when you're going to buy at auction. So number one, obviously you phone up the company, you try and get as much information as possible. Um, you ask, is there anything wrong with the property? A lot of time they won't know. Uh, you know, it's not really their job to tell you what's wrong with the property. Um, you really need to find it out yourself. So what you're asking for is a home report if there is one. Um, if the property, this one, this one here is actually uninhabitable, so there is no home report. So really what you're relying on next is a legal pack which hopefully should tell you what the problems are and why it's in the auction, why it's so cheap. Because a two bedroom flat on this street normally goes for, well done up, they're going for about 90 to 100,000 at the moment. So for this one to be on a guy price at eight, there's got to be something up with it. Um, so you are looking in the legal pack and you're looking for things like is there a potential notice of liability? So there could be an outstanding factors charge. Uh, there could be um, additional borrowing that, which is put on the title. So you're looking for anything that's been added to the title, uh, which could potentially cost you money. Um, you're also looking for any notices from the council. Sometimes with these older tenement buildings, a slap on uh, charges where uh, compulsory charges for the owners where they're doing a uh, program refurbishments etc so you need to look out for that obviously once you've had a look at that and you're still keen you're going to try and attend a viewing now, there, there is a viewing for this one and i think it's on monday or tuesday um, i i am quite interested but <laughs> now that i've seen the, the state of the building um, i'm not actually too sure if i'm going to go for it myself but I'll show you that later on if you keep watching. I'll, I'll give you an actual look inside the close and out the back and you can see for yourself. So you go along for the view and I would always recommend viewing an auction property. Um, if it's a, your first or second time, then I would definitely view it first of all. Uh, me personally, I've only ever bought two properties at auction. Uh, both turned out to be really good, so there are good deals to be had. But again, it's all about due diligence and just be really careful, make sure that you've ticked all the boxes and that you're totally comfortable. So after you've attended a viewing and you're still interested, before you attend the auction on the night, then make sure you have your finances lined up. So really important to complete quick on an auction property. So if you're the successful bidder, they're going to ask you for a 10% deposit. Um, you can put that down on the night and then you've got 28 days basically to complete on that purchase. So most mortgage lenders, uh, or most of the time if you're, if you're buying a buy to let mortgage, you're going to struggle to get your finance through in 28 days. So ideally you want to be buying cash or else bridging finance. Uh, they're really the two, two best options. Um, I just think it's too risky if you go down buy to let mortgage or limited company buy to let. There's just too much that can go wrong and then potentially you could lose out on money. Uh, so that is a quick uh, few wee tips for you on buying an auction. I'm now going to flip the camera around 
and give you a look at this property here, which I'm going to go inside and see what I can find wrong with it. Interestingly enough, I was here about a year ago looking at this property here, which is the ground floor. It was on with Wilson's Auctions uh, and I actually was going to go for it at the auction and then they pulled it last minute, a couple of days before. They took it off the auction and didn't offer any explanation why. Um, so it is a real interesting one for me. So I'm going to flip it around here. So as you come down here, this is Copeland Road. As I said before, flats are going for between, uh, well, up to 100,000 here for a two bedroom flat. And as I come in the door here, I can see straight away that this is really badly maintained. There's cracks everywhere here. The main puzzle entry system is no working. Here's more cracks right up here. There's no lighting or anything in the closet and it's a bit spooky when you walk in so you can see there this, this flat's obviously empty this is the one i viewed it a year ago uh, and really in bad condition so we'll flip it around again so it is a bit kind of it's a bit spooky in here actually i don't think there's anybody living in this block maybe one person so as you can see here look at the state of this so there's obviously serious structural problems you can see that straight away in this building. Now, as I walk up, you can also see that there's been a fire at some point. Scotch marks here, right the way up the close. As you can see there, it's not in good condition. I'll just go right the way up to top floor and see. I've not been this far up yet, so I don't know what I'm going to come across. If anything happens to me, I'm in Copeland Road. <laughs> I can hear birds. If you look at the internal photos, uh, if you look at the internal photos of this one, you can see that a lot of the ceilings come in, so the roof's obviously needing a lot of repair as well. I'm sure there's a few pigeons living in there. Probably a few dead pigeons. As you can see, a lot of the plasters come away. Right, so what you need to be careful here is this building has fallen into a state of disrepair. And if you buy this, you could be potentially buying into a lemon because how are you going to get all the owners? It's obvious there's no factor. So if, there's a, if it's factored and there's a property management company in charge who's chasing all the owners for the money to do the place up, then that's fine. But if you buy this and you want to do the work, get the building sorted, and a lot of the owners are not willing to put their hand in their pocket or willing to come together to get something done, then you could have this as a liability. Um, and you could be sat, there, sat on this for a long time without it earning because you're not going to be able to sell it on. There's no lender going to uh, lend on this. There's no decent tenants going to live in a close like this. So you're going to be stuck with this for a, a while. So you need to figure out whether it's actually worth it. I mean, everything can be fixed. Everything can be repaired. And there are grants out there as well. I'll take you out the back here. Gonna give you a look at this end wall here if you look. Oh. The flat's up there on the top floor somewhere. And if you look there, there's a huge crack running right down the side of the building. So cracks all over guys. Major structural problems. I don't know, I'm not a structural engineer, but you definitely need to get somebody in here to assess this building. It probably needs to be underpinned, I don't know, dug up, found new foundations laid. I'm not an expert, but there's going to be a serious amount of money needing spent. Like I said, you can get grants that will pay 50%. I have heard of buildings getting grants around here. But what you need to do is you need to get all the owners on side. And obviously they need to put their hands in their pockets as well. 
So that is going to be the challenge with this one. And most of them look like they've, they've been empty for a while. If you look up here, you can see that's where the fire was, look. That's obviously the fire that's affected the close as well. I, I did see somebody actually in one of these properties just there. Somebody just shut a window. So there is people living here. I um, wonder if they would know exactly what's going on. Maybe I'll just chap a door and see. See if anybody knows. Hi, how you doing? I was just wondering, I was looking at this flat, there's one for sale up the top. Um, and I was wondering, do you know what's going on with this building? Is there like, it looks like it's a lot of cracks and bad conditions. Uh, so, yeah, just spoke with the lady there. So there is somebody living in the building. Um, she says that there's a few tenants. Obviously, she's just a tenant, so she doesn't know, you know, what, what, what's happening with the building. Um, so I didn't want to film her either because she's in her own home and that would be unfair. Uh, so, yeah, it's just, that's another thing you can do, guys. Another tip, try and speak to the neighbours, see if they'll give you any information on what's going on as well. Uh, sometimes you'll be surprised a lot of people, you know, you do get the odd busybody neighbour who will know absolutely everything and they'll tell you straight away. Now, whether you can rely on that is another thing. That might not be fact. Uh, but just another tip, try and speak to as many people as possible. So there you go. This guy's letting me go here, but I'm sorry. Um, there you have it. Are there any questions? Uh, I know I've not got a lot of people looking, viewing it. Uh, this Facebook Live, but are there, are there any questions here about auction properties in general uh, before I go? Or else are there any questions about the new Rangers manager? Because he's about to be unveiled on the steps of Ibrox, or maybe has been already. Harvey, how you doing? Good to see you. Hope you're busy. Copeland Road, Ibrox, two bedroom flat for £8,000. Guy price. Do you have a hope in hell of getting it for eight grand? Absolutely not. That's going to go for way over. Uh, somebody will take a risk on it. It is a risk, and it's going to be a long-term thing because that building is not going to be resolved anytime soon. Good to talk to you guys. Hope you found that useful. I'll be doing more Facebook lives in the future and trying to offer some value for people who are new to property investing. Have a great weekend and I'll speak to you next.